<laughs> two stories come up. So, if I see anything in here, I promise I'll, I'll whip it up. Yeah, that's tumbleweed girl. <laughs> no, I'm obviously joking. That's, it's not the beautiful one here. We have many beautiful things. Um, we've had a beautiful ceremony. All right? We mentioned the vicar. The ceremony was lovely. This reception is absolutely beautiful. The food was beautiful, despite me, Dad, not really able to eat much because of nerves. I'm sure it was beautiful for the rest of you. <laughs> um, the ush, uh, my usher, Gareth Davis, wave your hand. He informed me that the waitresses are beautiful. I can't comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as I was in the church, I looked round and the bridesmaids, they walked up the aisle and they really know they look beautiful when they're dressed. And I think we need a little toast to the bridesmaids for helping Jeff out and just being generally looking fantastic today. So just to the bridesmaids. The bridesmaids. The bridesmaids. The bridesmaids. Word of the day, beautiful. <laughs> and lastly, I'd like to, the overall beauty of the day has to be Jeff. I mean, uh, Jeff, you've got absolutely stunning today. Um, there's a saying in sport, which is my background, and it's called punching above your weight. <laughs> Yay! Now, if you were to get a dictionary definition, you don't have to write anything, you just need to look at this. <laughs> now, I haven't known Jess for very long, but she's one of those people you just instantly like and instantly feel comfortable around. And it's actually, I want to make a public apology, an apology I never made um, after this event. Me and my friend Jamie Sang, who was in Hong Kong, we went up to Peterborough to visit to visit Jess and Darren, um, and we were celebrating their engagement. Um, and that, after I left Jess's house, um, I woke up in the morning wearing nothing on their sofa but 16 double cheeseburgers. <laughs> 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 Mrs. McAleese! Bumbay! 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 Now, I come on to Darren McAleese. I'm not sure what drew me to Darren McAleese. Was it the fact that as an 18, 19 year old, fresh faced, going to university, I was looking at a man that looked about 45? <laughs> <laughs> was it the fact that the first time I saw him, he looked 45 and he was covered head to toe in random tattoos? <laughs>
However, this does spill over to other aspects of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Darren is a very loyal Man United fan. Ah, he told me ah, at the moment once that three weeks before the Champions League final, he wasn't getting any sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't watch the game on telly, so he listened to it on the radio. <laughs>